I'm Rocky Bulls. Today, with the help of John Schuler, our applications engineer, we're going to go over how easy it is on the Voyager 5 axis CNC to cut and fabricate difficult materials like this 2CM porcelain and other compacts. I have a question for everybody out there. How are you guys handling porcelain currently and other compact materials in your market? A lot of times we hear people not wanting to bring this into their shop. They shy away from it, push it away. Today, we're going to show you how you can embrace these new materials, bring them into your shop, and simply how easy it can be to do it with equipment like this. Today, we're going to be cutting 2CM porcelain, and we're going to do a drop mitered vanity. John's going to show us how to program it, order the cuts around, and run it through on the machine. Let's go talk to John. Thanks, Rocky. All right, guys, so I'll show you just how easy this is to program here. So I have a few 37 inch vanities laid out on our, on our slab here. First thing I'm gonna do is go to our auto tool path button and select our geometries. And it process that. Um, really easy to do. Here you see my blade cut. It knows when to stop so it doesn't cut into the other piece. So all of that is figured into here. Uh, once I have that, the next thing I'm going to do is just extend a couple cuts. Um, I like to go a little past my geometries when it comes to this um, porcelain material or decton or whatever you're working with. And I like to do that on all ends. Just so I'm never putting that downward pressure at the start of my cut. Okay, once I have that, I was just concentrate on this vanity here. Uh, once I do that, then we have this feature called Ultra Compact. So all the tools that you need for processing this material, um, it's all built in right here, just so I don't have to stand there with the feed pot as I'm cutting. Um, so right now I have built into this program, for the first six inches, go 30% of my feed rate. As I ramp out or leave the end of that cut, I'm gonna slow down to 30% of that feed rate as well. Same thing for my miters, 30% and 30%. Um, and that's what all the manufacturers recommend as well. So also with this feature, I can automatically apply all uh, relief cuts and tension bands. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and apply those compact features to, to my cuts here. Once we have that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my incremental router to cut the sink out. So that's just an easy button up top here. I click on what I'm cutting and it highlights it red what needs to be finished off with the incremental router. Now that's cut out. And on the left-hand side here, all I'm gonna go ahead and do is move my incremental router so it's first in our operation. And lastly, whenever you're cutting this material, um, it's not a bad idea to open up those diamonds every once in a while. So I just have a small piece of, uh, of quartz sitting on the top of the table here. So I can take some manual cuts as well. I'm gonna take my blade cut by two points and just do a couple rips in that quartz halfway through that program just to get those diamonds open up and keep my blade from glazing. So as you can see, very easy. Um, really, that's, that's all it's going to take for programming. Now that our program's created, we can go ahead and cut. All right, at the console, program's been loaded. And all we have to do is hit cycle start. We hit cycle start, the machine's gonna come forward. It's gonna tell us which tool to insert up top here. Insert porcelain bit, that's already loaded, and we hit cycle start. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start out with our incremental router bit. Uh, what the incremental router bit is going to do is it's going to do all of your radiuses, your inside corners, uh, basically everything we can't reach with the blade. Okay, now that we're done with the incremental router bit, we're gonna have John do a quick tool change uh, back to the blade. 
And what we have here is we have a special blade just for porcelain. Um, everybody's going to have a, a tool rep that they deal with. They can You can reach out to them to get a specific blade um, that will work good for you. What we're running is a 16-inch blade. Our first cuts were going to be our tension relief cuts. Uh, anybody familiar with this product knows you have to relieve the tension before you do cuts. Um, so we're just going to take a band off um, all four sides here. So that's going to take the tension out of the material and that's going to limit or eliminate fractures as we process the material. In our straight cuts here, you're going to see the blade plunge all the way down, uh, basically to the arbor. Uh, this is our tight cut feature. Um, this allows the, to do less incremental routing. Um, it also allows us in regular programming to save on a lot of material because we can nest our pieces tighter. Um, but in this situation here, we're going to see that we'll have less incremental routing, more blade um, to do these cuts on the sink. So next up here, we're going to do our miters. Um, you'll see the saw blade come down, touch the material, tip over into its 45 degree position and plunge cut into this material. The concrete base for the Voyager really gives it a solid surface to be able to do accurate, clean, perfect miters every time. And we'll see that in our finished piece. Um, but excellent, excellent miter saw. It's unitized design. Uh, it's one piece construction. Uh, this machine isn't shipped in several pieces and bolted together on site. This makes for a strong base. Uh, really helps with processing materials like that. Reduces vibration. Um, really makes for a nice true machine. One of the things with processing this material is the chance of blade glaze over. And what John uh, has done here is we have a piece of quartz up here in the corner. We are going to run the blade through that a couple times just to open, ensure that those diamonds stay open and that we're able to come back into this material and reduce the chance of a blade glazing. There's, there's room on the table. It's, it's simple, simple to program in um, and it's good practice. Anybody processing this material knows how much you have to pay attention, how much you have to babysit it as you cut it. One of the features with the Voyager is the built-in ultra-compact material programming. So basically with just a, one click of the mouse, uh, we're slowing down our entrance and our exit speeds, which is uh, recommended by most material manufacturers to reduce uh, blowouts and fractures in the material. With the Voyager, you're able to walk away and let the machine just do its job. So any of you manual bridge saw owners out there, when you think about you know, going digital, uh, the transition is actually quite simple and you are able to run this machine manual. Um, but once we show you how to program it and run it, you're never gonna run it manual. With the Voyager's 27 horse arbor, it is able to go through these uh, compact materials with ease. You can see it as it cuts through it. All right, let's take a look and see what our finished product looks like. As you can see, with the incremental router, we got a nice smooth transition between our blade and our incremental router bit. And also, also our miters look perfect. I think we're gonna take this off and we're gonna put it together and see what the finished piece will look like.
And you can see by looking at those miters that they come out absolutely flawless. So basically a quick glue and that piece is ready for install. As you can see, the Voyager made easy work of this porcelain today. This kind of material isn't going away. It's becoming more and more prevalent in every market. Reach out to us and let's see what we can do about putting a Voyager in your shop to make your life easier.